Hi, Damien here from Pet Business Blueprint. Today we're going to look at changing the footer area on your website. So that includes this green area with the four columns. And this is persistent on each page of the website. So we're going to look at how to edit that for the entire website. So what we do is um, from any page on the website we go to... Um, oh, actually from the home page we go to the end of our uh, link in the address bar. We go WP Admin. And we log in, and we go on the left hand side of the bar, we go Appearance, and we go Widgets. And widgets are the individual items that make up the four columns. So, as you can see here in the widgets, we've got the primary sidebar, which is this area down the left hand side, and we'll address that in a separate video. Um, but we've also got our footer and this is all we're concerned with for the bottom of the website so we've got footer first column I'm just going to expand each of these widget areas third and fourth the way widgets work is you've got all these different options to choose from and you can drag these options into a widget area and you can drag them out of the widget area. So one thing to keep in mind is if you're going to remove something from that area and you, there's some chance you might want to use it again, um, you want to drag it, drag it to this inactive widget area because that will save the settings of that widget so you can, if you change your mind in future, you can always get it back. Um, if you delete that area, if you delete a widget from that area, you're going to have to recreate it which could be a bit of messing around. So um, let's say for example we want to remove the um, the recent articles. Let's say we decided not to have a blog on our website. We want to remove recent articles because it's not relevant. So that's our first column, as you can see. So we find our footer first column and we drag that recent posts over to our inactive widgets. If we want to delete it, we just drag it somewhere else up here on the screen and let it go. So now if we go back to that page, reload it, Uh, it's still showing up as being there. That must just be the browser cache because the browser, um, to speed up the site, it remembers what was there a few minutes ago. So it might take a few minutes to update. But for example, let's say we want to add something else there. So you can choose from any of these things. You can add a YouTube video. Um, you could add a single article um, excerpt. You could add um, a list of the pages on your website, a calendar. You can pretty much add anything you want here. And if you just want to add a piece of writing, you can go text and then you just fill in the fields here. This is a sample. If you want to give it a title, you don't have to. You can give it a title. And we just go save that area. Go back to our home page, reload it. there's our new widget that we just created. Um, if you want to edit an existing widget, so let's obviously we have to, should have to change our address and contact details from the demo content. We just expand that widget, so peekaboo contact, get in touch, and we can change the heading there, and you just change it to the name of your business, your address, your phone number, you can add an email down here if you want to, in fact, I'm going to do that because there's a little bit of space there. And once we've finished editing, we just go save. Um, there's a section there for the map. I'll address the maps on your website in a different video. things like the callback, that's actually a form, that's a text widget but we just put the code for the form in there. Again, we'll address your forms in a different video. And that fourth column is just an about us. So all these widgets can be configured individually and they've all got their own special features. And that is how we change 
the um, footer area on our pet website. So if we just want to look at the change I just made, um, there's the email I just added. So it's quite a long email address. Um, so you may decide not to list one there if you've got a long one. And that's it. So that's how we change the footer area on our pet website. Okay, thank you.